I mean, that has gone down again because it did go back up. But I was hoping for 160s today, I'm not gonna lie. I've been trying oats kind of a lot for the last maybe three months, something like that. And I feel like I've kind of perfected how I like to cook it. Recently, we got this pancake batter flavored protein from Ghost, right? It literally just turns it into this thick, gloopy, lovely pancake batter mess. And it is unbelievable it tastes well like pancake batter just like super thick pancake batter Inconclusive whether it is or is not. You are? It's inconclusive whether it is or is not. It's what, inconclusive? Well, yeah, because you don't actually know, do you? Oh, no, but I'm not willing to take a risk. You know? <coughs> Pull ups today. You can probably see yourself, but don't worry about it. Just um, just started fans. off. Hey. Just for the fans, anyway. Yeah, say hi. Hello. 
<laughs> it's all blurry. Right? <coughs> Started up. Oh, jeez. With wide grip, pull ups. Do the set on the narrow, neutral grip. Then the set on the wide, and then I'm going to finish off with another set on the neutral, and then we'll move on. Pull day today. It's good to hit all four heads of the last, isn't it? Oh, yeah, all 17 uh, yeah, different all directions. All yeah. the angles there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got to show them them all because. The realest in the game here, mate. Yeah, don't miss out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't miss out on any bit yeah. of free like, information. We're not bothering with the wide underhand, are we today? No, not today. Not no. today. No, we'll just do the 69 of the, of the options. options. Yeah. Good, nice. The the out. Full development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, what Cam's doing here is he's working both sides of the rear uh, chest <laughs> and is. Um, Working predominantly on the rear quadricep as well. Oh, yeah, 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 key muscle groups to be working with in your sessions. And what he's doing right now is working the left tricep and the right bicep at the same time. Superset, superset of the gods. Do not try this at home, people. You need to be experienced like us. <laughs> You're only shrugging 20 kilos. Shut up! Mind to muscle connection. Actually, how does that look in that light? Still missing the mountain range, mate. Still what? Uh... <laughs> Still missing the mountain range. <laughs> Okay. This is a really cool angle with the, with that window, that window, that door open. Should have told me I've done it. I only just realised. Oh, now that's how you do that without being seen in the mirror. You just have a six foot two guy in front of you. <laughs> oh, you are six two, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, same. same. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse Pop. Where's Flicky? Hey puppy. Good girls. As you guys know, or some of you guys know, little Jesse Pop um, has epilepsy. And so she can get a bit bit nuts at times and she can't really help it, especially in kind of hot weather like this. She's seen a line down just there. Um, just to try and cool herself down. So, we have a little paddling pool set up for her. Um, she doesn't really have the sense to kind of go in herself, but we're going to try and see what happens when we get her to go in. Jesse, Jesse, come, come, come. What's this? She's focused on toys. Jesse, come on. Focused on toys. Jess. Why don't you throw a ball in there? Jesse. Hey? <laughs> She's 
too bothered about the toys. I guess. Come on, you nutter. Can you see? I can see you like flicking it and then she's like licking it up off the floor. She thought you said flick. You said lick and she thought she said. Shh, she's my cough. She's my Jess. woof again. Jess. I hope you don't run out of film. It's a bit of a disaster this, isn't it? Yeah, shocking, mate. Maybe if you get in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, lead by example, mate. Chrissy, come on. <gasps> oh, yeah, as expected. Oh, it's all right once you're in. <laughs> come on, Jess. She's a bit nervous about it, oh, which I didn't expect because she tends to be fearless. Yeah. Tends to be like an, an absolute nutter, fearless dog. But Flick is actually scared of this, and so that might have kind of... Got on to her, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, we'll give up on that for now. Yeah. But anyway, the goal is to keep her cool. I did miss all of that, by the way. What, you weren't really listening? No, I weren't recording, mate. Oh, really? It's on now. So yeah, the, Liam, what's the title of this video going to be? Title of this video? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. It's yeah. some, something like good lighting versus bad lighting kind of physique update thing. Answering life's real questions. Something like that. There you go. Good girl. I mean, it's one way of using the water. <laughs> Mate, you're on red battery. I'm a... Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Come here, I'll, I'll talk to them about it another time. And it is another time, or well, actually it's just later on in the same day. And I've come to sit in the car. We can have a bit of a car chat. I love a good car chat with you guys. It's where a lot of the shit went down when I was at uni. It's where um, I just seem to rant because it's quiet and I'm on my own and, you know. So anyway, I've been training for around about three years now. Um, and... Throughout that time, I've kind of learned to not let certain things bother me about the gym, whether that be eating chilli the night before. That's an example I use a lot. You know, I know I'm going to wake up heavier because of, bam, sodium from the chilli. I'm going to wake up heavier the next day. I've learned to let that not get the better of me, etc., etc. Little kind of things like that, right? And one thing that in particular I want to focus on in this video is lighting. Lighting is massive. It is so key, you have no no idea until you realize, start to realize the kind of difference between the two. It took me a long time to kind of get my head around. Um, the angle, the lighting, it all makes such a massive, massive, massive difference. And the lighting at the start of the video is very natural. It's very um, organic, you know, it's just literally a window. There's a window there, the camera's there, and I'm here sort of thing. Um, that completely washes out any definition that you have. If it's direct sunlight, it will just wash it out completely. So bear that in mind if you're trying to get trying to get a bunch of likes on the gram, you know, just bear in mind that you don't want to be in direct sunlight because it will wash out your abs completely. So that is the biggest kind of factor that I have noticed, in particular with the bicep pose. If I am coming up, bringing my arms up, ready for a front double bicep, that in particular... It, completely destroys all of the definition in, in my in my arms you know my, I have fairly vascular arms for a guy that's of a fairly high body fat percentage I have decently vascular arms and so that kind of get washed gets washed out completely in the in the bathroom lighting whereas when you compare it to the home gym lighting you know we had the garage door open so it was kind of natural lighting but the lighting is a lot better in there it could be better but it is a lot better than in the the, the bathroom you know so just bear that in mind and if you do take progress pictures and i kind of looked at one myself the other day a, a picture from uni it was immaculate lighting and i looked really really good it, you know, I'll blow my own trumpet. It was a year ago I looked really, really good. But it was a good angle, perfect lighting, perfect pump, perfect timing, perfect angle. And 
I looked better than what I actually did in the morning shots of this. And I was just like, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. God, it really makes that much of a difference. And it really, really does. Um, because obviously, this time last year, I was way, way bigger, way, way smaller. I had way less muscle mass and had a lot more body fat, right? So yes, I know I still have a lot of body fat to lose, but I was a way higher body fat percentage. And you have to bear in mind the the more muscle mass that I have now as well is added to that weight as well. How many pounds in exactly, I don't know. But when you see people on social media, or these fitness models that you kind of aspire, you look up to, whether it's just someone top in the kind of YouTube game or Instagram game or whatever you want to call it, whoever you want to look up to, right? They are more often than not won't look like how they look in their photos. And that's fine because at the end of the day, you know, you're not going to, the majority of people won't post a crap photo. They want to post a photo where they look good, you know, because you just do. And so... Don't kind of compare yourself to that because that is perfect lighting, perfect pump, perfect this and this and this. That photo that I took at uni, they do that every single time. And so they have perfected that. They have got that down to a T. That, that is their job. It is their craft. You know, they've mastered that. They're making a living from it. And so they have mastered it, you know. Um, don't compare yourself to photos in bad lighting, good lighting. Try and take... Similar photos in similar lighting, wearing similar clothes or just, you know, wearing the same pair of boxes or something like that. I don't know. Just try and keep the factors, the, um, not the factors, the, uh, variables to a minimum, you know, try and keep the things the same. Um, you'll see people post kind of photos before and after when they take these herbal teas and they're in horrendous lighting, like washed out lighting, and then they're in perfect photo shoot lighting. And it's like, they only lost five pounds, you know, but the lighting makes that much difference. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to touch on that because I spotted this photo of myself from a year ago and I actually looked better than what I did kind of this morning. And so I was kind of just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to talk about this. I need to let the people know, you know. So uh, don't let things get in your head, guys. You do you. I'll do me. I've been training for around about three years now and um, I'm happy with the progress I've made. Could it be better? Yes, but I was at uni for the first like two and a half years of that. So can't expect too much when you're going out five, six times a week. <laughs> God, Liam, you're so cool. Yeah, I know, right? But I need to get out of this car because I am literally dripping with sweat. Um, it's been beautiful weather here in the UK. Um, really, really lovely. We're having a heat wave, but then at the same time, it is too freaking hot. I don't want to be that person that complains about the weather when it is finally hot because it's always rainy in the UK, and when it's sunny, we, we tend to moan. But... I'm going to moan because it's too bloody hot. It was the hottest night on record ever last night. And it's going to be the hottest day on record ever tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be good. It's all good. We'll just sit with a, a zero calorie ice cream and, and a white monster or something. You know. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, if you have, please do me a massive favour. Drop a like, drop a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. It would really help the channel out, get the momentum going, all of that jazz. Thank you once more. I appreciate every single one of you. I've had countless messages about the new series, about graduation and all that kind of stuff. So it really does mean a lot. Thank you, guys. Um, your support kind of keeps me going in, in, the, in the, the down moments, you know, when we've, when we've stepped off the bike and we're just walking instead of pedaling. If you know, you know. So anyway, thank you guys. Drop a like if you have enjoyed. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. I just said that. Anyway, together we will grow. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one.